So early in January of 2020, I noticed it first in the bedroom and it was really bothering me. It was really upsetting me because I didn't know where it was coming from. And I asked my husband, I said, do you smell that? What is that? And he said, I don't smell anything. I don't know what you're talking about. And uh, I was offended because I thought, what is that? What is going on? Where is that smell coming from? So I would open the bedroom windows and it was like so bad that I, I like had to try and keep myself from vomiting. It was so bad that the odor was so bad and it would happen out of nowhere. Just suddenly the whole room would be filled. It was like a thickness in the air too. Like a thick, the air would be thicker and it, the smell would be horrible. And it was the same smell every time. It smelled like, um, like dead flowers or like really, really bad old perfume. And this went on for probably at least a week, maybe two weeks. And uh, it would happen even like when my husband would be at work and I'd just be in the living room with the kids or something. And all of a sudden there it would be. The room would be filled with this thick air and really bad odor. And um, I started checking the vents. I'm like, okay, okay. Maybe it's something outside. Maybe it's coming in through the vents. So I checked the vents. I didn't notice anything unusual. But this would just, this would happen off and on throughout the day and night. I'd wake up in the night and there would be that smell. And it's like, okay, what is this? And so I started researching it. Uh, I started Googling it and I was reading some articles. And um, there were, this is actually kind of common. They, they say, oh, they're paranormal smells. Oh my gosh. A little spot is getting on my nerves. So, um, there's actually, you can like look this up where other people have talked about that, even celebrities in homes and in cars, different places where that smell would just appear. And I recognized one person, uh, well, not one person, but one of the things that I read said that it would smell like a funeral home. And I realized that's the smell. It does smell like a funeral home. I thought, okay, this is more of a spiritual thing than a physical thing. Like, it would appear, and then it, it would be gone maybe a little while later. And, like, completely gone. And I didn't understand that. Or sometimes it would linger, and I would just smell it kind of faintly. So, that's when I realized after doing research, I thought, okay, that's what it is. Because uh, I went to my grandpa's funeral several years ago he died when my son was a baby and now my son is eight but he was like six at the time and um i thought that i recognize that smell okay so what other people are saying who have experienced the same thing it does smell like a funeral home and then i started getting freaked out i thought okay if i'm smelling into the spirit realm it, it's it's either that god has unlocked my spiritual sense of smell because we have the same um, you know, sight, touch, taste, smell, and, and hearing spiritually, just like physically, but spiritually, usually those are all locked. And in, in, with some people, they are unlocked, some or all. Now, for me, when I started to realize that, and I thought, okay, well, if this is a spirit, then I can cast it out. Because as Christians, we have authority over evil spirits and sickness and disease. We can actually, we can cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not us doing it. It's, I mean, it's us doing it, but we're just the vessel that God works through. He goes, he goes to us and through us. Okay. So I started commanding it to go. But see, I wasn't really living right at the time. I was not really a Christian at the time. So it was like extra scary for me because I was actually afraid to try to cast it out because I knew I wasn't living right. But it started to really motivate me to get right with God because I thought, okay, if these are evil spirits coming into the room, because like I would notice it. I started noticing more and more like the, there would be an odor and then it would move past 
and go into another room. I didn't see or hear anything like that and feel it physically, but I could smell like there was a presence, somebody come into the room and then it left the room, like it was wandering around or something. And um, also a lot of people have talked about fire. They smell, um, uh, what is it? Sulf sulfur, sulfur. I would smell that sometimes really, really strongly. And that was spooky. Um, so anyway, I started, so I started commanding it to go. I'd say in the name of Jesus Christ, I command any foul spirit in this place, depart from here now and go back to hell where you came from. I shut you down, I bind you up, and I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, and I forbid you to ever come back. And it would go. The smell would go. One time I saw a light shoot across the room, uh, across the wall in the bedroom. And I thought, okay, but then it would happen so frequently. Um, at random times. And I noticed even with my son, he was doing online schooling. It was the remote learning because he had been in regular school before that. But he was doing the virtual learning academy online. And I would notice all of a sudden the smell would enter the room and he would just start spazzing out and laughing hysterically and acting weird. I thought, okay, at the exact same time the smell comes in the room, he's acting like that. So, this wasn't something that I was really um, so open about. I would even whisper it. Just I would just whisper it because I didn't want to make a big deal. Like, no, not in front of my kids. I am very careful about certain things in front of my children. Very careful. But I would whisper in the name of Jesus. You know, I command you to leave here. And it would go. So I thought, okay, okay. But it's like I would do that. Like, I noticed... Um, it would just, it would appear at night, like before, as I was going to sleep. And so I would always rebuke it and I'd fall asleep. But then when I would wake up, I would smell it again. And I felt like, and I would smell it on people. If I would be around different, different types of people, sometimes they would have a really weird, and I, I knew it was a spiritual smell. And there's, I can't remember, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm not even going to try, but the Korean artist, the woman, a uh, young woman who um, God showed her hell and she did those paintings and heaven and she got those beautiful paintings. Uh, I feature her channel on my channel if you want to watch any of that. But she said in one of her videos that I believe it was for an entire year, uh, God gave her the ability to see into the spirit realm for a year. I thought, when I heard that, I thought, hey, that's how I experienced it for one whole year. I was able to smell into the spirit realm. I said, I never asked for it, but if I was, if, if you know, I was told, if God told me, hey, you can have one, one ability, one of your senses, not that we couldn't have all of them, but um, I thought about that. I thought that would have been the one that I would have chosen because I don't know that I would want to see something. Uh... I'm not sure about hearing. Mm, yeah, I don't know how much sound they really make. But I thought, yeah, if I smell, yeah, not too terrifying. Um, but one time, like, I, I had to go um, to renew my ID. And while I was sitting in the waiting area, this is everybody's wearing a mask and everything like that. And I'm sitting there waiting I felt so sick. This guy walked past me and that, that some kind of an odor was so bad, I almost fainted. It was such a horrible foul smell. And I knew it was spiritual. This guy had, must have had a lot of demons. And yeah, this went on throughout the entire year that I actually felt like I had an advantage spiritually. But then at the same time, it would scare me. Because I felt, I almost felt like it was a curse or something. Like how I have to do this all throughout the day and all throughout the night. All the time. Like, and of course I would never rebuke stuff open or people heard me. I would whisper it where it's just barely just my breath, you know, saying it. And 
it really wasn't something that I just could just really sit and talk about. Afterwards, like since then, I have talked just like I'm talking to you now about it. Um, but it started to kind of fizzle out in December, December of 2020. And then by January of 2021, I think it was com pretty much completely gone. And then as much as I wanted it to stop throughout the year, I missed it because I thought, well, now I, I don't know if something just enters the room, you know, but I thought it was really interesting. And it was an ex a year long experience that uh, really helped me and it really gave me insight into just how active the spirit realm is because really the spirit realm it's like basically like right now like i know there's an angel in the room with me there's at least one but i don't see it uh they are there are spirits everywhere everywhere and sometimes they show up on on people's cameras and in videos and pictures but they're really they're everywhere you got angels of god you got cohorts of satan <laughs> There are, this is a spiritual, spiritual world. Um, millions and millions of spirits all over the world, but we don't see them with our natural eyes. And only if somehow we are able to have our spiritual eyes opened, uh, we wouldn't see them unless our eyes were open spiritually. I said a year long experience and it was really, really weird. Uh, there were different smells. One was like an orangey. It wasn't really a bad smell, but it was kind of like an orange type of fragrance, like the fruit, kind of like an orangey fragrance or like orange spice or something. And I don't even know what that was, but I would smell that sometimes. But I didn't really smell like really good heavenly fragrances, actually, anywhere I went. You know, it just seemed like it was always bad. It was either nothing or, you know, okay, that's not to sound discouraging, but uh, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of that. And so, yeah, that lasted for a full year. It was definitely an experience and you know i i mean i want my all i actually at this point i want all five of my spiritual senses to be awakened and uh i think i do know how to do that but it's also like proceed with caution you know because you don't really predictably unpredictable you know what i mean you don't really know what you might see or hear um, the one, uh, young lady I mentioned, the Korean artist, she said that during this year, she saw that there was a demon, a particular evil spirit that would come into her room like every night and, um, bother her that she didn't even know about it. Like, or she didn't see it before. But now, for like that year, she was able to see this thing. So for her, it was the, the gift of sight. And I'm not sure why exactly God would allow that. I think it's maybe to more develop people spiritually. Um, but it's definitely when you're experiencing that, there is the feeling of... Uh, I guess strength and yeah, I know this other people around me aren't, I don't know this, but I do, you know, and like in her case, she was seeing things, which uh, I've heard a lot of stuff. I've heard, um, I think it was brother Keith, uh, Kenneth Hagen senior, who said that he would see like bats fly off of people. Um, what looked like a, you know, a monkey like, imp um dragons i've heard you know jonathan welton i think is his name i actually have his book the school of the seers 
but it's, uh, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little, well, it's not super quick, but I just wanted to share that with you. And if anyone has had any similar experiences you'd like to talk about, uh, I'd love to hear it. And so anyway, uh, thank you for watching. God bless. Feel free to contact me anytime. My email address, RebeccaLynnSturgill at gmail.com if you want to send in any prayer requests or just say hello. Or, of course, you can leave a comment under my video. So, God bless you guys.